Hello and Namaste friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to create super realistic looking 3D Earth, which shows both day and night map. So before we jump into our tutorial, as always, let's roll our intro. Okay, so we need these files to create 3D Earth effect, and I will give the download link of all these files in the description below. So we have the Earth day map, the earth night map, the cyclone or the clouds, and a video of our stars. So let's drag and drop all these files to our Premiere Pro. Okay, so here we are in our Premiere Pro. So let's create a new sequence first. So let's go to the new item, sequence, and let's go to setting. Here we have 1920 by 1080, 23.976 frame per second, which is a very standard video site. Everything is fine, so I'm gonna click OK. So here we have a new sequence added. So let's drag and drop this Earth Day Map image to our video layer too. Let's change its duration to maybe 45 seconds long, just for the tutorial purpose. Let's go to Effect, search for Offset. So here we have Offset Effect, drag and drop this offset to our Earth image. So let's go to the Effect Control. Here we have our Offset Effect added. Let's click on Toggle Animation. Let's create a keyframe and let's go to the very end of this image and let's change this value to 5050. And we have got very simple animation which looks something like so, something like this. Let's go to project again. Let's go to the new item and let's add a black video here. So here we have a black video. Let's click on black video, 1920 by 1080. So let's click OK. So let's drag and drop this black video to layer 4. Extend this to the size of our image and let's go to the effect search for CIRCLE circle. So here we have a circle effect drag and drop to our black video. So let's go to the effect control. So here we have our circle added and let's change this radius to 490 which is perfect according to our frame size. Let's go to the effect again search for TRACK track. So here we have a track map key, drag and drop to our Earth day map image. And let's go to the effect control. Here we have a track map key added. Let's change this mat to video four. So let's see the preview. So here we have a very flat Earth. So let's make it a 3D. Go to effect and search for SPHER spherite. So here we have a spherite effect, drag and drop to our Earth day map. And let's go to effect in the spherite. Let's change this radius to 490 again and let's change the value of center of a spare to 960 i guess okay so this looks fine and let's go to the effect and search for l-i-g-s-t lighting effect so here we have lighting effect drag and drop this to our earth day map image and let's go to effect control and let's like this lighting one here we have a light type to spotlight so let's select this light type and let's change so i'm going to change decrease the focus something like so let's go down to the bump layer i want to select video 2 so bump channel green so let's check this white is high let's change the value of bump height to maybe 15 now let's go to the project again, drag and drop this earth night map to the video layer one. And let's adjust this length. Let's go to the earth day map image. So let's go to the effect control. And so let's copy some effect from this image. Hold control on your keyboard, select offset, track mat key and spherize. Press control plus C and go to the earth night map, control plus V. Let's highlight the earth day map layer go to the opacity and here we have a eclipse mask select the eclipse mask let's extend this something like so something like so and let's rotate this like so and let's increase the mask feeder by pulling this lever so this should be fine i guess so let's see the preview yep it looks good so again let's go to the project and here we have a cyclone or the cloudy cloud image. So let's drag and drop this cloud image to our video layer three. 
extend this adjust this length and let's go to the effect search for ti anti tint here we have a tint effect drag and drop to our earth cloud image let's go to the effect control let's change this color to something like blue kind of color let's change this blending mode to lighten and let's decrease the opacity to something maybe 50 let's go to the earth day map again so let's go to the effect control and again hold control on the keyboard select offset track mat spare right press ctrl plus c select the earth cloud and press ctrl plus v let's select the earth cloud go to the effect control and again let's create a mask under the opacity so here we have a clip mask let's create a mask something like so and let's extend this feeder something like so and let's select this earth night map let's go to the lumetric and increase the whites to maybe 80 percent the lights of night will glow of course and contrast to maybe 40 let's select all this layer right click and click on nest so here we have a nested clip so let's drag to video layer 3 let's go to the project again let's drag and drop this sky image to our video layer 1 let's go to the fact control let's change this op opacity to something 45 percent so the video star is also moving to the left to right so I'm gonna reverse it by pressing Ctrl plus R on your keyboard. Let's slow down to 60% and check on reverse speed. Click OK. Yep, that looks great. Let's add one more effect here. Select an eclipse shape and let's create an eclipse here. Something like so. And let's adjust this to something up here. Pencil graphic, change the eclipse color to light blue. Let's go to the effect, search for our search for blur. So here we have a Gaussian blur, drag and drop Gaussian blur to our shape layer and go to effect control, change the blurriness to something like so. Let's adjust this duration according to our video. Place this graphic layer to video layer two, which creates the glow around the earth. Let's fit to screen. Let's see the preview. Yep, the earth is moving left to right in a very horizontal way. Let's select this nested layer. Let's go to the motion and here we have a rotation. Let's change zoom minus 25. Now the earth moves in its natural angle. And let's add some motion here. Let's go here. And don't worry about this glow. We will fix it later. And go a few frames forward and just reset and let's select this two keyframes right click tempo interpolation easy as in and let's select this front two frame two keyframes interpolation easy as out so click on motion ctrl plus c and click on graphic ctrl plus v we fix the glow the glow moves with the motion of the earth so let's see the final preview here so thank you for watching guys if you like this video please do like please do comment if you have any confusions and please do subscribe and share to your friends and thank you for watching again see you in next video peace